Guardian Airsoft here again, bringing you an airsoft review. It's May 31st, and I finally got my gun. A G4 Series A2 Flaming Hog. You know, everyone talks about the box, but I could care less about the box. So, this is what it would come with. Come in this cheap, flimsy plastic, like everyone says, you know, broken everywhere. And, you know, could break so easy and all that. It's not made to be a carrying case, people. It's made to be for shipping purposes. Like this cheap orange flash hider. The only reason it comes with this is because it's illegal to ship it without. So, it wouldn't come with this little manual. That's for my Tenergy charger. What you would get is the gun, the magazine. But the gun would have the orange flash hider on it, your Noveski in the bag. And the battery separator and the crane stop and the cleaning and unjamming rod and that is all that it comes with nothing else so the magazine metal high capacity 450 rounds says GNG armament, Cal 556mm, GNG parts and accessories. On the side here it says 556 by 45. These are real gun measurements, the real caliber. It's 6mm pellet for us. So your Novaski would come in the bag. It says Novaski Rifle Works LLC. KX3 amplifier and then a bunch of licensing and information about it and the gun so I get this box out of the way the gun comes with a aluminum Daniel Defense 7 inch light rail made in I think Savannah, Georgia. It's their airsoft line. Of course, the Noveski. We come to the body. You got your 2012 Airsoft GI G4 logo. Complete AEG series made by GNG, made in Taiwan. Your fire selector for safe, semi full. Clicks into position real nice. And you have a sling mount on the back of the gun, right there. It's metal. This ergonomic pistol grip is very comfortable. Removable trigger guard. I'm gonna switch mine out for the mag pull one. Fake forward assist. It's plastic. Your selector switch is metal the buffer tube the buffer tube is metal and then your crane stock you come up here you have your I believe metal flip up sights just push that lever back let it come up then you have different apertures small for forward forward is small backwards is big the front sight no button or anything, it just lifts, collapse, it's real, yeah, I don't, um, it's okay, and then here's the down the sight look, maybe, Hang Yeah, there's the down the sight look. We come to this side. Your functioning forward assist acts as a spring tension 
loosener, I guess. I, I don't know what you would call it. But it it uh, eliminates the spring tension after you're done firing. So you fire in semi-auto once to clear, clear the barrel, and then press that, and, and it'll reset everything. You come up to your charging handle. It's got the lock on the other side. Press that back and pull to open up your door, your uh, ejection port door. Just flips open. It says Infidel in Arabic and English. This is, in fact, the... Uh, blowback version so that does that every time it's fired the green thing in there that's your hop up turn forward to hop you really don't need it on this gun it's a ccb gun you don't really use hop at all their other logo used to have their website and their so you get a serial number but they did away with it they just have the GI Flaming BB logo. And that's pretty much it for external features. I'll show you how to get the battery in. Just give me a sec, I'll get my battery. So, with this kind of gun and the crane stock, you need a butterfly type or nunchuck type battery. I went with the Javelin Gunworks 9.6 volt battery. So it was it was cheap and I didn't feel like spending a lot on a battery, so I got it. It was 18 bucks. Now Oh, this is one thing I didn't like about this gun. The non-vented pistol grip. It's just beyond me something shooting at this rate of fire and not be vented I don't know this this pistol grip gets really hot while you're shooting but it doesn't really matter the gun is excellent so you've heard how hard it is to uh, get this stock on and off get the battery in and out it's not a hassle press the tabs pops off this thing comes off, so there's this, this, and then your wire comes out. You then take your battery, take your battery, this is going to be interesting. So you have your gun. Take your battery, slide it into the slots, take and hook the connectors, hook the connectors, then take this end, the battery end, well, it actually helps once you get in to extend the stock. Then you take the battery end of the connector, push it down the buffer tube, just kind of hide your wires in there, hide them reasonably well, get your cap, put your cap on. And then push the butt plate on. For the most part, that was a one-handed operation. You have full movement of the stock. Wonderful. Now this is what it sounds like. So there's that. Now I got a comparison. I'll grab my scar real quick. So, this gun with the Noveski and the Scar without the Noveski. They're shooting about the same FPS. They have the same spring in them. So, here's the Scar. Here's the 
G4. And the blowback. Now, it does blow back more when there's BBs in it. It's, uh, it, the way it works, it uses the back pressure off the BB to uh, blow back the thing, the uh, artificial bolt. So, it doesn't have any BBs in it, obviously, because there's no magazine. So, yeah, here's the front, the forward assist functioning, listen. I reset the spring. All in all, a nice gun. Great gun. Great buy for 240 bucks. Can't hardly go wrong with it. So, I definitely recommend it to any starters or uh, just intermediate players. Some professionals, if they really want to not spend that much money. Thanks for watching the review. Uh, subscribe, like, and rate. Whatever they say at the end of their videos. Um, I'll have some gameplay up with this gun soon, hopefully. Probably tomorrow, because I'm having a war. So, uh, that's it for this review. Guardian Airsoft, out.